G'day friends, it's week six. It is the Shadow Hawker self-service vending machine of education and we are on the promotion section. Now, I say this a lot because I mean it. I put promotion at the very end of the marketing mix whenever I deal with the marketing mix because promotion needs to draw on the value proposition, the points of access that, through distribution, and price as a positioning communication statement, the internet's a big place. And some of the times on the internet, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to promote ourselves with other projects, within other projects, or as paid elements. Now, as always, a uh, reminder that the content drift may happen, probably also a week of high risk for content drift. There's good odds that there is a set of material out on the Waddle site dealing with the aftermath of the assignment, uh, particularly feedback, general guidance. What I like to try and do is I like to try and provide specific guidance to each individual operative inside the subject and then draw it together to say, hey, here's what we've learned. There will also be additional resources around different platforms and projects. I like to be able to provide additional content and that's where the drift might happen is I get super excited and also, in the live event and in the forum, I'm going to talk to the results of what platforms we're all using. I don't know what that result will be now, so I can't tell you that. Uh, we're further down the run schedule than what I've indicated here, but you know what I mean. Handouts, slidos, you know the drill. It's familiar. Let's get into it. The first thing you've got to do is you've got to make a decision. I know it's early in the slide deck, but here's the decision. At week six, do you wish to go as of Friday and say, right, two weeks off, progress project, no further? Or do you want to go, I've got two weeks without classes, I could use that time. That's a decision, that's your decision. There are wrong answers, which are, I will make the decision, then I won't follow it through. And there are right answers, which are, I will make the decision and I will do what I decided to do. The second week of operating the project, or third week, depending on how you count it, However you count it, there are a couple of things to consider. You want to start making certain that you're using a tracker, some form of tracking towards your end goal metric. So your ETPR has a fighting chance of understanding how the season progressed. You want to make certain you're still updating your ePortfolio and you're tracking how you're feeling about this early stage of the project. And you may also do a midpoint reflection. This is a good time for a midpoint reflection. We will engage in a participation and engagement self-reflection event. There will be something out there to help you look back and go, how, how was that first half semester for me? And also, I will run, to the best of my ability, a, a rough estimation of what aspects of the course you have used and engaged with. So you've got a bit of a, oh, hey, I forgot that, or I missed that part. You've got some tracker data. You've got some things you can use to help make some decisions about the second half. But what I'm gonna ask you to do now, I want you to put five minutes on the clock and I want you to do a quick reflective task. How am I doing? What have I done? And what do I intend to do? You know the drill. Start the timer for five minutes, hit the pause, and I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back, mate. It's good to have you on board. Here's how it's gonna go. That commit or break that question of which way you want to go i'm going to ask you to make a pledge out on the forum state it also if you're going to take two weeks off state it if you want to take two weeks break or one week break say that then take that break i know some of you are giving me that look that says i don't trust you enough to declare it my answer is well learn to trust got a task for you it's a quick task I want you to set up a link tree. Link tree is a links index. You can stack all those into a link tree, but your task here, just to get set up with the link tree, and there's something we're going to do with it a little bit later in the exercise, but right now I want you to go in, follow the new account prompts, use the free subscription, use the free version of it, and so five minutes, timer, begin. Welcome back. So that link tree, that's going to come into effect in a slightly later exercise, but we need it right now. It also had an option for you to do an 80 character thing, and then we'll come back to that. Now, I'm going to get you to practice the theory, 
then I'm going to get you to apply the theory to your own project. It's going to be an eight minute exercise. And it's something I want you to observe is that there isn't space in the Word document for this. And this is because it's not something I'm capturing. Uh, it's something you people could talk to during the live event, but it's not something that I am necessarily going, hey, could you bring this intel back to me at the end? I want you to practice the brand personality framework. And the reason I want you to do this is that brand personality is a really useful way to set a guiding tone. And I'd like you to look at the brand personality framework that's here and it's in the Word document. And I'd like you to practice on it and say, what is the brand personality? What is NKTG 2032 eMarketing's brand personality? And also, if this subject was anthropomorphized, what would it be like to hang out with the subject? But who would the subject not want to hang out with? Who would the subject find to be their nemesis, their enemy, their opposition, their opponent? Chuck eight minutes on the timer, give it a go, give it a test run, and hit the pause. Welcome back, it is good to have you here. So that was an interesting one. Uh, the life class always has some great fun with this. Anyone who's sort of worried that I'm collecting uh, the data, there is only one question I'm really interested in, and that is, have we lived up to expectation? Is our personality, is the personality of the subject as it has been experienced by you, consistent with any reputation you might have heard about us prior? My interest in this is because as a theoretical framework, this is really easier to understand theory when you can apply it to something familiar with. And the reason I want you, and I wanted you to do this test run and this practice run is get ready to restart that eight minute timer because my friend, we are about to use brand personality for your project. I want you to look at these frames and say, what is it? I could use going forward into the future for the rest of the project, how could I use brand personality? Now, eight minutes to give yourself a real solid think through here is what is your, the nascent early emerging personality of your project? And also, that's a main and a secondary. What's your primary? What's your, and who's your antithesis? Who's your oppositional? Who's, if you are the rugged outdoorsy, uh, four wheel drives and mud and blood and guts and fights and beer. And if you're that, then your antithesis could well be me. Question is, eight minutes on the clock, who, what is the personality type that suits your project? And it can be an extension of who you are if you are the product. However, it runs, it is eight minutes on the timer. Get yourself ready to go and action. All right, it's game time. Brand personality is really fun. I've written a I've written a paper on it, and I worked with a, a musician academic out of North Queensland for a while, uh, looking at how bluegrass singers could apply brand personality as intentional extensions of their own personality. And it's one of the things I love about watching professional wrestling is where the wrestler leans into who they are as a larger than life figure and uses a brand personality persona type to enhance their character. So, what we're interested in is the brand personality for the project. Uh, if you find that you've got a Nemesis project, uh, you may want to contact them and say, hey, do you want to start a feud? Do you want to have uh, deliberate oppositional work? You know, if you are someone who's all about the hands-on, get, you know, your art is all about getting your hands dirty and making things physically, you might find there's a digital artist out there who's all about the virtual and the online, that the pair of you could go and use your clashing personalities, to uh, your clashing brand personalities, to create content together, where it's a versus, make it by hand versus make it by machine, battle royale, um, best art over six weeks wins. There's all sorts of ways that you can use this, and this is what I want you to do is explore the opportunity. It's going to be 10 minutes. I'm going to ask you to create an elevator pitch for your project because it's old enough now. It's run for a couple of weeks. You know what it is, what it does and what you want it to do. If I want there to be a tweet, 
I want there to be 280 characters inclusive of the link. There are a couple of tools for checking. You'll see the footnotes on your Word document. There's a couple of tools for checking the word length and the character length. So if you want, I've got a Twitter account. I'm happy to promote you to post about you. So you'd need to fit in the hashtag MKTG2032. Make for yourself the 80 character statement of that goes on your link tree, update your link tree. Make for yourself an elevator pitch about what your project is, and then give me a tweet, promote. And when you're promoting your project, it's all about what's of value to a potential audience. So 10 minutes on the clock, you know what we're gonna be doing, you know how it's gonna go, and pause the video. Welcome back. So the reason we get you to do this is over the next few weeks, you will see at the start of every one of the Word documents that you get will be a space for a value statement. And I want you to constantly rewrite that value statement. I don't want you to copy and paste it. I want you to take the opportunity to iterate and reiterate, to practice and rehearse what it is. All right, if you do genuinely want me to tweet out your project, I'll ask that you either email it to me or you post it out in the forum. That way I know it's there and I can put it onto my Twitter timeline. Look, Shadows, I'll also extend this offer to you. If you're running something you think you could go well on, a, um, on an Instagram, I want to test something out. I haven't actually done Instagram promoting of uh, course content before. Chuck us an Insta um, ready, an Instagram ready image and a caption, and I will put it up on my account and let you know when it's. All right, into the forums. Now, on the forum, you will see the question about the cost, cost statement. Last week, I asked you to track your costs. This week, I'm asking you to talk about how the cost tracking exercise went. The other thing to look at is at the bottom of the Word document, you will start to see the interlap and the overlay of there's some take home events in there. So you can take a little extra time to think, okay, how does this work? How does the interconnection? And this one in particular, it's, you set your price last week. You said what your price strategy was. How do you reinforce that with your promotion? How do you create content through the product that fits the price, that fits the message you're passing on. So play around with these additional elements. There's stuff on the screen, stuff behind the screen. Ultimately, it's all about giving you a way to experience thinking about your project, then enacting those thoughts in the real life, real time, real world event. As usual, if you need me, you know where to find me. I'm going to be around a little bit during the, uh, the break, but uh, consultation times will be slightly harder to find, but email will be, as always, operational. And that, my friends, is that for the first half of the season. Congratulations on making it through to this point. Glad to have had you along for the journey.